Scorpio, hi. So um, this is going to be a reading for the month of May 2021. And I'll do the reading for you and then I'll close it off with a oracle card. And these are general readings, so they may not resonate for all of you. If they do, there is an extended at the end of the video. You can check it out in the description box below if you want. Now let's see, Scorpio... Okay. The overall energy for the reading, the Three of Pentacles. Scorpio, are you dealing with two situations? Not at once, but like the energies of two situations, maybe? Because I got that since I laid down the cards. We'll see. Uh, this talks about a partnership. It could talk about um, friendship or... I'm getting two energies here for you playing out. But we'll see. Uh, starting off the readings, you get the reading. You get the strength card and the nine of wands. Ah, there's a lack of strength or a feeling that you're not strong enough to pull something together, to pull something up here. Um, this could be you. This could be somebody tied up to you. I feel like this is your energy, though. Um, your focus here, the six of swords, looking for something calm, looking to get yourself out of... The commotion of things, possibly looking to get yourself out of a situation. In the recent past, the Six of Pentacles, um, stability, equal give and take, or trying to achieve that. Um, in your strength, the lovers, this is a connection you have with somebody that feels very powerful to you. In the immediate future, a little bit of stability coming into play for you. Um, that sense of stability. Supporting this reading, the Six of Cups, this is the other energy that I felt for you. And I don't know if this exists in your life or not. You're looking for something, a soul connection that can bring you balance, that can bring you all of everything you've ever wanted. Um, this one, the Lovers, feels like it's a different energy that you're already dealing with or have dealt with. Um, the energy that surrounds you and you may not be aware of it. You're in full manifester mode. And I don't think you're realizing that. And that could be good or bad. We can manifest bad things too. So I feel like you've got that going on. Um, in your hopes and fears, you're hoping for a brand new life. Brand new beginning. In the potential outcome, the Empress. Now, this could be the energy that you are seeking in terms of a partner. Uh, or this could be, again, somebody tied up to this lover situation. Um, the person tied up to this. But it's definitely somebody that's holding a place in your heart. Um, let's clarify. Let me clarify the Three of Pentacles. Eight of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles. Okay. Um, there's a bit of a pulling away from a partnership here on your side in terms of... I'm not seeing you leaving this and being like, I don't want to have anything to do with you anymore. It's just a matter of your energy is shifting more towards you. Um, so you're still possibly... This connection is still around you. But I don't see I don't see you putting all of your focus on it, all of your energy. Instead, you're kind of stepping back, emotionally disconnecting from that to give to you more, um, which is good. Let's go to the strength card. <clears throat> two of cups, two of wands, ace of swords. Okay. Um, you just had enough. It's like, I want love and I want love now. Because why can't I have it now? Because why do I have to go through all of this crap? And why do we have to go through 
misery to get to love and why blah, 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 I want love now. That's where your strength is lacking in terms of maybe it's not meant to happen right now. You know, maybe you are going through all of this crap or whatever it is that you're going through so that you make the way for the love to come in so that you create that path so that you can find that within yourself first so that you don't have to need it from somebody else. You know? Let's do the Nine of Wands. Six of Cups, the Judgment card, the Queen of Cups. There's there's a soul connection here that's shown up for you. And I feel like uh, you're not really saying yes to this quite yet. There is a decision you need to make, but you're not making that decision quite yet. It feels good, though. It feels like it's aligned with your energy. For some reason, you're standing in the way of it. It's like you're standing in your own way. Uh, let's do the Six of Swords. The Five of Pentacles, the Sun, the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you're... You could be still in the process of letting something else go. You may not be fully present for the current situation that's shown up, which could be the soul connection, because uh, you're still kind of in the process of letting something else go. Um, you do want happiness. You do want a brand new beginning. So you're kind of in that place of debating, do I need more time to go through my loss process here and continue, or where am I? And I see you kind of in the middle, you know? Um, ready, somewhat but still not fully released from the past energy. Let's do the lovers in your strength. The star, the eight of swords, the moon. Ah, you're still a little bit, um, you're still a little bit stuck on the past situation. There's still a desire showing up for it, like you still want it. And that creates a lot of confusion for you. That creates a lot of messiness for your current life, basically. Let's do the Ten of Pentacles in the immediate future. Ten of Swords, Three of Cups, the Tower. Yeah, the hope for um, something to be restored It's kind of going away. You're losing hope that this is ever going to happen. That you and this person from the past, um, you're going to come together. I feel like you've been hanging on to this for as much as you could. And eventually, I feel like it's going to go down. Um, and it's going to even come as a surprise for you. Like, oh, I don't want this as much as I did. Um, let's do the Six of Cups in the supportive energies. King of Cups, Ten of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Whoever this is, this soul connection that's shown up for you, it carries good potential, good energy for things to move in a good direction here. They're definitely um, carrying stability, love, um, the potential for those things attached to you here um, and for things to work out. I see you kind of saying no to it. I mean, maybe you're in it maybe you're trying to go along with it but there's something within you that's not allowing you to open up fully to it um let's do the magician in the hidden energies page of swords knight of wands knight of swords <clears throat> there's almost an energy within you that's trying to free yourself from something free you from Possibly this past connection, possibly this past hope. Um, it's like a recognition on your part that you're not free completely of that. And your manifestation here is coming at play to kind of get you in that mode of freeing yourself from something that's holding you back. And that energy is growing. Your manifestation is growing. Your energy towards freeing yourself is growing. 
Um, it's just going to take a little bit of time, but it's growing. It's happening. Let's do the Ace of Pentacles in your hopes and fears. Page of Pentacles, Five of Swords, the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, problem is you keep you, you keep on wanting something new, but then you go back to the old. And that's where things don't really match up for you. You want change, you're desiring something brand stinking new, and then you keep on going back to the old. That's what you're bringing back into the picture. Um, but I feel like you're becoming more and more aware of that, you know, and that should help your process of creating something new. Let's do the Empress for the potential outcome. Two of Pentacles, the High Priestess, the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, there's a choice here on your part. There is either go with this new situation that's popping up or hang on to the old situation, which is up in the air. You know, there's nothing clear there. Um, the good news is I see the High Priestess there. So I see your intuition guiding you through this. At times you may feel stuck in that place of what do I choose? There's a reason for that too. Um, but I see you eventually being guided by your intuition. Let's see what the universe has. <laughs> Page of Wands, Three of Swords, the World card. You're, you're in this process. You're at the border of releasing something very painful that you've dealt with for quite some time and setting yourself free towards a new life, basically. Uh, you're right there at on the border, on the line, basically. You're coming to an end of whatever pain you've experienced and you're getting into this new flow of the Page of Wands, this new curious, this new open kind of let's see what happens kind of energy interesting um let's close it off with the oracle card from the lantern oracle you get emptied the ending and beginning lie at either side of the same door true that You're, um, you're right there, where you're being emptied, basically. And you get to choose what side of the door you, you're, you're on from now on. So that's what I have for you, Scorpio. Hope this helped, and I'll see you next time. Bye.